Thank you very much. All morning long, we have been listening to Paul Sanchez and his music. He was one of the founding members of Cowboy Mouth and has had a great solo career. And uh, a few years ago, he penned a musical from the Dan Baum book, Nine Lives. I call it his masterpiece. Uh, and, and now apparently people are agreeing. Uh, you just signed a deal to do a... A, a, a limited series. A limited, limited series. run series, what they call I used to call them mini-series when we were young. Well, you actually wanted to make this a Broadway show when, when you we first We tried did for it. 10 years, and really, uh, the people in, in New York, they were lovely folks that were trying, but they weren't producers and they weren't creatives. So once a year, I get an email saying, oh, it should be like the Titanic, or it should be like Here Lies Love, whatever yeah. was popular. And they couldn't get their hands around it. And so finally, the, the option lapsed. And Chris Joseph, who started Threadhead Records here in New Orleans to help out after Katrina, he called me. He said, look, I've been talking to people out here in LA. And they think maybe if we go for a dramatic series that leans heheavily on music, it'll be easier to get it to a musical. Because I've seen you do the show at clubs. And then, and then uh, uh, you guys were on stage at La Petite with a great production. Fortunately, that first production at La Petite is on videotape. You can see it on YouTube. Because it was a magical night. You know, the audience got out of their seats, they cheered, they cried, they danced. And that's what I've told people in, since, especially when they're trying to do theater in New York, was I've been on stage my whole life. That doesn't happen all the time. Yeah. And it was a beautiful night. I'm, I'm so glad it's on film. And uh, so Chris bought the rights uh, from Dan's widow. Dan passed away uh, during Dan COVID. Bomb, yeah. And, um, he approached some people about turning it into a limited run series, and within a week, we got a phone call from an agency in Hollywood that and, uh, wanted and to do let's it. Let's go back to the beginning. When you read Nine Lives, what made you think it would be a musical? I have to say, it was my friend Coleman Decay who wrote uh, the songs with me. He wrote the lyrics with me. Uh, he said he, came, he was staying at my house for Jazz Fest, and he said, we, sh we should do this book as a musical. And my response was, you're insane. And then he went to bed, and I got the idea for the song Feels Like a Lady. And I woke him up and played it for him. And I said, OK, I'll do this. It'll be fun. All right. And, and my favorite song of, of the whole thing. And by the way, when will we be seeing this on TV? Do you know? You know. It'll be a while. Yeah. Before, yeah. You, you know, there's pilots to be written. Yeah. And all, all right. My favorite song is, is King of, of Mardi Gras. Of course, I'll play it for you. Well, all right. Here's Paul Sanchez. <laughs> Calm yourself, Billy. There's nothing to fear. Here come your royal subjects, your peers. This is your moment. You've waited for years. You're the king of Mardi Gras. Who'd have thought we'd reach such dizzy nights? There's no place to go but down from tonight. I don't want to brag, but it just seems right. But I'm the king of Mardi Gras. I'm the squeaky, shiny, freshly minted king of Mardi Gras this year. Police will bow, the crowds kowtow, when my royal float draws near. I get to toast the mayor, be drunk by noon. I get my regal face on every single Rex de Bloom. Look at poor Leon, such a sordid affair, soliciting boys in Jackson Square. Everyone knows, just make sure they don't stare. You're the king of Mardi Gras. Here comes old Cedric, he's had a fabulous year. A hush fills the room as his young wife draws near. He lends her out freely to advance his career. And you're the king of Mardi Gras. Miss Helen's been sickly since the Huey Long days. She swears it's consumption, but it's alcohol haze. They're dressy but messy in so many ways. And you're the king of Mardi Gras. You're the squeaky, shiny, freshly minted king of...